Let's get to Vince. All right, here we go. It's a Will Fork Wednesday. We got Vince Wilfork joining us once again. Vince, how you doing? I'm doing good. You sir. Doing good. Doing very good. Uh, meanwhile, you got a lot of people uh, looking at that game against the Packers and uh, some people even calling it a moral victory for the Patriots. Uh, how do you feel about moral victories? Do they even exist? A loss, a loss is a loss. <laughs> you can take away some good and some bad with them, but a loss is a loss. And we, we, have, to, we have to figure out ways uh, to win ball games. You know, we were, we were in that ball game and we had a chance to win, you know, going to Lambeau playing against – you know, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. And we, we, we 24, 24 time in overtime. So, I mean, I've always looked at a loss being a loss. Until we fix that, we're going to continue to have problems. So, um, we got we to gotta figure out a way to make plays and, and, and pull these ball games out. Meanwhile, you know, you look at it, and they are one and three right now. The three losses, I mean, they're, they're pretty good teams. The Dolphins, the Packers, the Ravens. Does this feel like a one and three team, the way you look at it? Well, I mean, you can feel how you want them to feel, but you won and three, you know. Um, but, you know, you can't argue that in every game they match. That's, that's the key. Uh, it's not like you're going in the game getting blown out. You know, the Ravens game got kind of out of hand at the last minute. Uh, let's go, uh, you know, minutes in that ball game. But in each game we played in, we've been right in. So we just got to figure out how to make the better, make the plays. When we need to make plays, we have to be able to make plays. And we have to stop giving up big plays and, and just um, just stupid plays. You know, if you eliminate bad football and just continue to chip away um, and make the plays that you need to make, um, I think we'll be okay, but we, we got to get it going. We got to get it going. We Me, got to. I mean, well, we, we saw Jack Jones make a huge play on Sunday with the pick six. When you have a quarterback like Bailey Zappi who's coming in there taking his first snaps in the NFL, does it change your defensive mindset where maybe you're a little more aggressive in those situations? Well, at the end of the day, he, he took a shot, and, and he won. You know, um, I always say any great player, they would tell you, in order to be great, you have to be able to take some some chances, and he took a chance on that. So that was huge because that was a touchdown. Without that touchdown, there's no overtime. So he made a huge play. He stepped up and made a play. He had actually a good good football game, uh, and that was one play that was made. So we need more of those plays. Hopefully, that can start trickling down to the rest of the team. And like I said, you know, I tell, I tell guys all the time, there's three phases in the game: offense, defense, and special teams. So at some point. You know, two of the three, you might not have three and three. You know, both of have to struggle a little bit, but the other two, you know, phases of the game have to be able to step up and make some plays. And he had a, he made a hell of a play um, on that one. Well, they're going to have to make some plays probably coming up, although the schedule does get a little bit easier. I mean, look ahead, you got the Lions, the Browns, the Bears, and the Jets. We were just talking before we started here, and it's – the bad teams really aren't as bad as they used to be, but how important is this stretch against these four teams? It's going to be very important, you know, because it's an NFL. You don't you don't have teams that's just going to lay down anymore. You know, you you you're going to have to be able to go out and play uh, football every single Sunday, Monday, or Thursday. Um, the Lions coming in like they're not going to roll over. They've been in some tough games themselves. They didn't score some points, um, but they're not a pushover. And sitting at one and three, you have to be able to string some ball games and some wins together before the season gets out of hand. But I'm pretty confident in Bill. Um, I'm pretty confident in the team um, to get it back going, you know, because we really need it. So, it's a, you know, beat the teams you're supposed to beat. And that's where we're at right now. And it starts with this week. And now you have to just take it one week at a time now. Yeah, you brought up Bill. And I do want to ask you about Bill because it seems like – he does his best coaching against good or bad teams. You know, it doesn't really matter because he, he seems to treat every opponent the same so that his teams don't really overlook easier opponents. Did you find that when you were playing for Bill? Well, we always approach every game the same way. You know, uh, we prepare the same. We play the same. We try to play the same. We don't take one team lightly. We don't take, you know, and everybody is the same. We go on in the battle. We need to win the ball game. So we prepare at the highest level. So um, it won't be any different this week. We will, teach, we will treat this team, you know, the Lions, just as we will do a Pittsburgh or a Reeves or Kansas City or a Tampa Bay. 
it's no different. So, and that's one of the things over the past years, you know, Bill always hammered down, like, listen, we're going to prepare well, we're going to be well prepared, and we're going to go out and we're going to win. We're going to be very consistent in the way we prepare and play. Um, so it won't be any change, you know, uh, even though we lost three games, we want to prepare the same. And that preparation, I would think, would also help when you're approaching this game, you know, thinking that it's probably going to be Bailey Zappi and his quarterback. How, how do the guys kind of respond to that? What's the locker room like when, you know, you're off to a one and three start and uh, you're down to your third string rookie quarterback? How do those guys respond? But they have to build trust. It's all about trust and doing your job. And, you know, you can't look at one person. I always say football is the ultimate team sport. So you just can't look at one person and be like, ah, oh, uh, he's going to make it with us. Uh, I never believed in that. I think it's a collectively you have to be able to play together and win together. Um, and with a rookie, you know, we know how to protect rookies. You run, run the football, um, good ground game, um, give them easy passes, um, and try to, you know, protect the football. The defense, we have to play even better now on defense. Keep staying in control of the game and play solid. And I think we'll be fine. You know, like I say, we just need somebody that's going to manage the game. And if you need to make a play, you make a play. I don't care if it's with your arms or your legs. You make a play, keep the change move. It's positive plays. So right now, it's all about everybody. Got to, you know, the leaders have to step up. We got to tell these guys, we all have to do a better job now with a young guy up in the center. Um, and hopefully, during the course, he's getting better. And, you know, he can make some plays if he's called for. But we have to protect the ball. And we have to be able to uh, step our games up as individuals. And again, it's not going to be an easy one against the Lions. All right, let's get into the Blitz. Ready for the Blitz? Let's get it. All right, let's get it. Uh, Bill Belichick had a lot of nice things to say about Aaron Rodgers last week and after the game. What was the nicest thing Bill said to you while you were still playing? Well, um, I can just remember some games where, you know, I had a good game and he'll come back and he'll just kind of highlight, you know, you know, some plays of the game and how to play the game and all that stuff. But my, the, man, when I played, he really didn't give those. So I'll have to wait till I retire to get those good, <laughs> good ones. <laughs> and you got some. You got plenty of them. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> Lions were featured on uh, Hard Knocks this offseason. You've had a, a few famous moments when you're on Hard Knocks. You had those uh, those jean overall shorts. Overalls. Yeah, yeah. You, do you still have those or do you still wear them? I still have those. I, I'm in my overalls anytime I'm on my farm or working outside. That's my go-to. So, but it gets hot. It's the way to it cool off. So, so those are regular in the rotation. I love that. All right. Uh, that was regular. Okay. Jack Jones said in post game, "I feel like it's disrespectful to throw an out route on me." How'd you feel about that? Well, you have to, now you have to give everybody's going to be like, every hot one, and then boom, you have to pick it. So, but what's going to happen when it's a double move? So, you have to be very careful. Love the company, but be very careful what you say. All right, let's get a prediction. Patriots lines this weekend. 314 pace. Yes, we got to get we got to get it back going. I've got full confidence in that. I think we're going to rely on the head of the, the run game. So, all right. Hey, get back, in, uh, get back in the win column. That's what you need. All right, Vince Wilfork, appreciate it, man. Thank you so much.